What's going on, people? It's another beautiful day in the city, man. We are still in Atlanta, Georgia, man. This is our last day here, uh, and I really wanted some breakfast. You know, y'all commented a lot of good breakfast spots, but ain't gonna lie. The wait is long, everything's booked up, man. So, you know, I got my boy, Chef Duncan, who's gonna make us some brunch, man. You know, we getting the special treatment out here on the last day. Now, y'all know my cousin, RJ, y'all saw him the other night. Uh, he, he taking us over there and look at this, man. You know, he said we got a riding style in the Bronco, man. We, <laughs> this man got it. This is a whole endeavor. You need the wrench, here you go, the wrench, man. You gotta unscrew this, unscrew that. Just just go somewhere, boy. Dang. Man, look at this man right here. Look at this. It's gonna be worth it out. <laughs> worth it. Every I swear every Bronco owner that said that it's gonna be worth it. Just wait. The presumed uh, vehicle of OJ Simpson is still traveling very slowly northbound along the five freeway. Uh, yeah, it's nice back here, man. It was worth it, bro. <laughs> it was worth it, cuz oh look. Yeah, I put my feet up, man. It's room and everything, man. I like this. Hey man, we on the way to Chef Duncan, man. I heard he's a great guy. My boy Mr. Hot Spot. Y'all know him, man. Uh, he, you know, he put me on in this guy. I'm glad we don't gotta wait for these restaurants though, man. So I'm excited to get on over there, man. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, uh, Miss Uber driver. Uh, not, not <laughs> yeah. Uber, Look, what tunes would you like? Let me go. <laughs> at our destination, man. My stomach about touching my back, man. I know he got some goodness gracious on him. Yo, 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 Chef Duncan, what's, going on? what's, what's up with you, man? How you doing, bro? How you doing, man? man? You. We cool to come on in? Yeah, come on in. Come on, on, on in. Hold on, I asked Welcome everybody, crave, kitchen, shoes on or shoes off, man? Shoes, shoes, shoes on until shoes. you get comfortable. With you get okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what you got going on over here, man? Listen, big chef vibes. So yeah. we, I wanted y'all to come to the Crave Kitchen and experience what I do, designer chef Duncan. You already okay, know okay, the vibe. Okay. So we got some challah bread. I'm going to make some French toast yeah. topped with peach cobbler. Yeah. And then we're going to do a berry compote. What, do you have a preference in what you want to eat? Nah, man. Look, you just want me to whatever. All right, yeah, yeah. So whip I'm it up. The so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm I'm just I'm gonna make two versions of the peach cobbler one, then the berry one, then I'll do like the uh, sausages. Yeah. You want scrambled eggs or an omelet? Uh, which I whatever. I don't know. Got no preference. I don't know, man. I, I've never listen, been. I've never it's been, a, it's, been it's, private it's chef experience. before. Okay. It's a, it's a craved experience. So whatever you want, yeah, yeah. that's what you get. Okay. You okay. Feel me? So what's your favorite eggs? I like scrambled. Scramble. I, I, I like do scrambled scramble. with cheese. I like scramble. Yeah, 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 for sure cheese. Definitely right, cheese. So we make you some nice cheese scrambled eggs. Cool. We'll get the French toast popping, breakfast potatoes, sausages. Yeah. And we in there. You heard the man. Let's get down to it. Yes, sir. What's yes, up, boy? Yes, sir. What's up, man? Hold on, hold on. Y'all know who this man is, man. It's a hot spot, man. He's the one who put me on to, to Chef Donkey, man. <laughs> hey, look, that boy in town, he's trying to get some lemon pepper sprinkle breakfast. <laughs> 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 I ain't said some lemon pepper sprinkle. Goodness gracious. Lemon pepper sprinkle. Goodness gracious. Put some Alfredo lemon pepper sauce. sprinkle on his eggs. <laughs> 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 oh me, oh me. Yeah, I'm hey, excited, I'm man. You enjoy your meal, boy. We happy you in Atlanta, boy. Please kiss my nigga. Most definitely, man. I appreciate you, bro. Right now we're working on that French toast on that halal bread. It's a special uh, French toast blend that I mixed up here. You'll be able to taste the difference. I already smell the difference. You know, you know, I smell the difference <laughs> already. How you even learn how to cook in the first place, bro? I mean, well, for one. I started in the kitchen with my mama. Yeah. I was a mama's boy, so I, I'd rather stay in the kitchen with my mother than go outside. Yeah. So I was in the kitchen a lot, and she was making, um, you know, dinner, breakfast, lunch for me and my siblings. Yeah. And it just so happened that it took on a certain passion for me. Yeah. I would go to other people's houses. I would linger in the kitchen and try to figure out with somebody, whoever was cooking, what you cooking, what you making, da da da. Wow. And um, from there, it was just the rest is history. It just it created a bug in me. And now, um, when I came out to Atlanta in 2014, I uh, um, enrolled in culinary arts school and I graduated in 2016. And um, the rest has been history. I was on the competition team. I was, I'm, one of my mentors is a certified master chef. So, Amazing. you know, it just, 
It's just that's dope, that's man. That's just the journey. For the people, man. So what? You do like a lot of like catering. You do private chef. Like what you do? I'm a private chef. I do catering, private events, weddings, meal yeah. preps, everything. Okay, okay, okay. A little bit of everything. I like that, yeah, man. So a lot show. of people ask me where I cook at. I say wherever you are. I'm using this bread so I'm not making a mess. You understand? It's a reason for everything. Cleanliness is next to godliness, and if you clean, people think your food is good, so you want to make sure you stay clean. Nobody want to eat in the dirty kitchen. All right, chef, man, is there anything I can help you with in here, man? You know, you know, I, I well, can get a little sous chef situation. You, you know, know I, can, I can cut something, I can stir something. What's up, what you need, bro? I got All right, you. so what I need you to do is stand right here with these potatoes. Now, yeah. what the purpose is, we're trying to get some color on them. So color yeah. develops flavor. Okay. So once we get a nice char on these, we want one to kind of similar, similar to this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a little bit more. I'm watching. This is your utensil. You thank can hold you, thank on to you. that until you need it. Thank you. I'm gonna let them sear for a minute. You know what I mean? I, I want to get that nice, uh, uh, that nice char on the other side of them. You know what I'm saying? You want that nice brown color because that's where the flavor really develops. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That man know what he's talking about. Yeah. They be roasting my cooking skills, man. Nah, man. Like, you right. <laughs> say all you know how to you, do is eat, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You're a natural right now. You're looking like a natural here with Chef Dougie. And we ain't even add the peppers and onions yet, so we yeah, just, okay. everything yeah. is about flavor development. Mm -hmm. Crave food is about flavor development. You gotta mm. develop that flavor. If you don't develop the flavor, you can't just throw everything in the pan and expect it to be right. Mm. We developing the flavor, one ingredient at a time. We bring it all together, and then it's umami. Preach to them. Preach to them. Umami. Preach to them. Umami. <laughs> umami, you heard the man. They're in a good place, so now I don't want to overcook these. I par cooked them already, so now mm. at this point, we're just gonna saute them all together and let the flavors bleed off of this, okay. get into the pepper. Okay, let that flavor bleed into the pepper, like my man said. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. Yeah, good, huh? <laughs> it look good, man. Hey, and what they say about like um, the colors, you know what I mean? Adding different if colors. It look, if it look good, it tastes good and people eat with their eyes first so mm -hmm. all my people that's over here on the camera they can't be here to enjoy the smell they can't be here to enjoy the taste uh -huh. but i need y'all to enjoy the sights because mm -hmm. that's where it's at for you right now what old buddy be saying the crawfish boil man uh smell it through the phone <laughs> smell it through the phone hey i feel like i'm accomplishing something right now big accomplishments yeah that look good on camera <laughs> Oh. good. Oh, no, for sure, no. It's lit. But um, at this point, we can go ahead and we can cool. kill this heat. Reduce that heat. One of the main important things in cooking is understanding and controlling your temperatures and your heat. Mm. You don't want to just have it up high just because it's fire and now you're burning everything. Uh -huh. You have to get, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? Whoa, I feel so attacked right now, bro. You don't want to just bro. burn everything. You want, you want the proper caramelization to extract those natural sugars in your ingredient to make that product taste the best that it can possibly take a taste at that time. Man's using them words, man. Hold <laughs> on. The proper caramelization of the temperature. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I'm at this point, we can go ahead and we can cool. kill this heat. Reduce that heat. And kill it. Because that pan, this pan is not going to just stop as soon as yeah. you turn the heat off. The pan is still hot, so it's still naturally cooking everything. Mm -hmm. One of my things is if you don't got time to cook, don't. Ah. You feel me? <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't got time to cook, oh, wow. don't. Hey, you need to put it on the shirt, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll buy it. If you don't have time to cook, don't. We're on an apron or something. If you don't have time to cook, don't because cooking takes time. Damn and I don't want just what you threw together. I want what is going to be good. Now, with this, now, this, this is something that I call one pot cookery. Now, this pan is already hot. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I wiped it down, you know, so now. It's warm, so I put that heat under there. Yeah. And then you just keep going. It's about minimizing your dishes as well. Right. Because who wants to just be having to clean a whole bunch of dishes once mm -hmm. everything's said and done? <laughs> oh, <what? Yeah. laughs> when, you finish, when you finish cooking, every dish in the kitchen should not be in the sink. You feel me? Every dish. <laughs> it don't work. It ain't, that, ain't, that ain't what we want to do. <laughs> You know, I feel, dang, this, you, I'm taking you out of church today. I'm, this is the church that you're in. <laughs> taking them boys to church today. Yeah. Left nice. hand, too. I'm ambidextrous, so that's my left hand. Let, let's get a wide on that. Yeah, that's say, the yeah, left hand, his... and then this is the right hand. Because you got to be able to do both. Jeez. You got to be able to do both. My skill. 
Mm-hmm. All right, you gonna teach me how to do that, bro? What, Absolutely. What, what, this what is I got, so, how do you how this, does this, one do this? This technique right here is called saute. The reason why it's a saute pan is because you see these slopes. Yeah. That means when you just kick it over there, it's gonna come back to you. Wow. So you just really just push your hand up. It's all in the wrist. Jerk it back. Hey, you just ha ha ha. Let me see what you got there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, it's safe because that is slotted. So just push it to the front and it's gonna come on back. Just make sure you catch it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, we got a broom for that. That's what brooms is for. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. It's, yeah, a, yeah, it's, yeah, a, yeah, it's yeah, a first, first time, time for everything. I was too scared, man. Hold on, I'll clean up, man. No, 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 no. We good, we good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, man. Well, y'all give me a couple months and I'll be looking just he, like this man. He know the technique, so he gonna get it. <laughs> God, how you just do it that easy? That's... It has to look good and it has to taste good. And these are some um, shredded Brussels. We're going to get those in there. Shredded just, Brussels. Okay, yeah, you got some Brussels. veggies in there. Yeah, just to add a little, just to add a little more shan shan. Get them vegetables, have a balanced meal, get your nutrition in, mix it with the good and the bad so that it all just be good at the end of the day. This is, this is what we call dribbling. It's like dribbling, right? <laughs> we just dribbling right Dribbling, that's called dribbling. Yeah, we dribbling right now. Man, cooking is also a sport. <laughs> I got some OJ just to keep it on theme. And this is Tree Sweet, the orange juice I grew up on. You're making scrambled eggs, you want to beat them up right. Beat them, beat them, beat them, beat them up right. I'm gonna add them eggs in there like that. All right, chef, man, talk to me. What's the secret to a good egg, man? Controlling your temperature, man. You got to yeah. control your temperature and don't season it too early. Mm, too you know? early. Yeah, don't season too early because it'll start to break down the egg and you just want it to do what it has to do. You kind of want to finish the eggs with the seasoning yeah. and a little bit so that it, it gets it, but you want the egg to cook the way it's supposed to cook. Mm, with all that stuff over there, huh? Mm -hmm. And re I say controlling your temp because you don't want... It might look creamy. Mm-hmm. And every now and then, don't be afraid to remove your eggs from off that fire. Mm -hmm. Because this pan cook. is hot. Mm -hmm. The pan is still hot. So it's cooking these eggs. You want them to be nice, fluffy, still. Come on, look, man, for me. A lot to you, man. The volume. Now, this is, now, I'm actually going to kill my heat, but this is the point where I'm going to add my cheese. Uh -huh. Because I don't want to just add my cheese when the eggs are still needing, I mean, dry. Yeah. Because then this process of cooking it will help melt mm -hmm. the cheese. Uh If my eggs were completely cooked already, then it would be, they'll be overcooked when I add my cheese. That'd be good, man. <laughs> 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 I'm hogging to the floor, boy. God damn, you still touch my back. First off, no, no, I appreciate you, man. You, 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 no, I appreciate you, man. Yeah, man. We about to get on the plane with nothing in our stomachs, man. You can't do that. You, you know, can't, you can't come to Atlanta and not come to the Crave House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, so Crave the Crave House. house so I like that. We go in the Crave House wow. and we take it from there. Okay, dude. So what? We got the uh, French toast with the blueberry. We got the peach cobbler uh, French toast as well. We got the breakfast potatoes, the eggs, the sausage, the bacon, man. And keep going. Ah. This is that hungry man breakfast right here. This is the hungry man breakfast. This is crazy, man. I don't even know what to what to try first, man. Hold mm. on, I got. I'm gonna slide over here okay. on the eggs, man. Cause hold on, look at the look at the beautiful char mm. on the on the sausage, man. That Come you on. did, might I add? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> my, yeah. my sous chef helped me out today. <laughs> my sous chef was in the building. <laughs> man, this is great, bro. Hold on. Mm-hmm. It's only right. Hmm. That's a lot, man. Hey, that's what I call certified out here, man. Let's get mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. The potato. 
Yes, sir. You out? <laughs> <laughs> Are you the main cook for your family now since you've been cooking? Definitely. Yeah. You got kids? I got two kids. Yeah. Two kids. Mm-hmm. So, so how has your cooking changed? Like, you know, going back when you were single to now having kids, has your cooking changed any? Absolutely. When I was single, I was eating out a lot. But now that I have kids, I, I, I tend to cook more. Yeah. Um, and my kids are my best critics because ah, they're they, going to tell, they, the they tell you the truth. They're going to let me know if it's working, if it's not working. And mm-hmm. um, I appreciate cooking for them so much. Yeah. Any advice to all the parents out there that got to cook for their kids now? If you don't got time to cook, don't. Because <laughs> the kids, if they don't like it, they're going to tell you. For but real. make sure you make the time because it's way better to get a home-cooked meal than going out here to the fast food restaurants with all this processed food. So mm. when you know what you're putting in your food, main ingredient is love, you can't lose with that. He, I, is he okay? Is he okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> Talk to me nice. This right here? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That crack. <laughs> <laughs> That's crack, man. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even no huge French toast guy. Mm-hmm. But what was this sauce? Is this like a uh uh the sauce? Is this like a sweetness milk sort of thing? Yes. Everything's worked so well together, man. Mm-hmm. The French toast is nice, it's crispy. It's not too sweet, mm-hmm. which is amazing, man. Mm-hmm. Yo, peach collar, dog. That's how I know we in the south, dog. Yeah. That's crazy with it, bro. <laughs> oh my god. It's important, like you, you, you. Also, you have to realize, like, even though you're, I right, so French toast, people think like, my French toast got to be sweet, but what are you gonna put on it? Mm-hmm. Syrup, sugar, whipped cream, your, your berry compote. So mm-hmm. you want to make sure that you're, you have a nice base for everything mm-hmm. that you're gonna accompany it. Well, I tell you, like my mom cooked it. <laughs> 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 like my mom made a peach collar right there. Mm. They're both good, bro. I don't even, which one would I? <laughs> which one would you order? Like I know. Which one would you pick? Bro, I'm the, I'm the type of guy, mm-hmm. when I go to a restaurant and I can't choose, I order everything. Mm. I order, so I know what to get next time I come. Type vibe. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Golly, man. Hey, what? how long you been cooking, man? How, what got you into cooking in the first place? Well, I'm, I'm over a decade in um, cooking. I used to just hang out with my moms in the kitchen while she was cooking for me and my siblings. Mm-hmm. So... It's just something that kind of stuck with me and just planted a seed and it grew. So now every time that I, I, once I was in the kitchen with my mom all the time, I would go to people's houses and I would gravitate towards the kitchen to see who's cooking what, what they're cooking, things of that nature. Mm-hmm. And later on, when I had my first little girlfriend, I wanted to impress her. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So, you know, I made a little menu up and I cooked her some chicken tenders and some 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 potato wedges. And I spelled, the craziest thing is I spelled chef wrong. I spelled chef like chief. So, oh, no. It was crazy, but she, she pointed that out to me to this day. But it's all good. I'm hey, here now. So, you know, for a single guy like myself who wants to... Mm. Impress a lady, man. You know, make a little some some. What do you suggest that I make uh, my lady for like a first meal that I'm gonna make her? Well, first of all, you gotta ask her what she like. You gotta don't mm. ask her don't ask her what she like by like what you want me to cook for you. You gotta just be like, what's your favorite food? What type of food you like? What type of cuisine? Mm. Now, once you pay attention to what she likes, Uh-oh. now you're able to listening skills. Now you're able to dive into your creative zone. And if she says she like Italian food, seafood, what what have you. If you don't already know, you can just call me on the line and I'll, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'll give you the recipe. But outside of that, you just make sure you're just getting what she likes. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Make sure you pay attention to what she likes, get what she likes, and then you make it. But um, That's two birds, one stone there. Because, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of times, you know, mm-hmm. um, women want a man that can listen. Like, they, they want to know that you're listening to exactly. them when they say this and that. So, you cooking and you listening, man. Come on. Come on, that's a recipe for wifey, man. And then, and then, and then, and then you're feeding them. So, now they satisfy. So, it's like, what, what, the only thing left to do is pay a bill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you feel me? That's so, it. For the people that's watching at home that want to do what you do, it's a lot of, like, people who want to be chefs, a lot of people who want to start their own food business, man. Mm-hmm. Any advice that you would give to these people? Definitely. I mean, just stay down for the come up is one because you're going to be cooking a long time and a lot of times by yourself and for yourself before you actually want to put the food out there for the people. Just because you make, you know, a good dish, don't just throw it out there to the people. Make sure you perfect that recipe. Make sure you take the time to put the um, your, your thousand hours in to perfect your craft and um, definitely go to school, continue education. 
I mean, with the internet now, you could you could go to school like you could watch YouTube videos all day and kind of learn something for real, for real. But um, mm -hmm. if you if you take your time and go to school, get your credentials, it's going to change your path because nine times out of ten, a lot of people they'll look at me and I'll be like, yeah, I'm a chef. And once I tell them where I graduated from, that's when they they look at me different because they know that I have credentials. I put the time and effort into creating. You know, that I means to educate myself. Where you guys went from? Le Cordon Bleu. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Le Cordon Bleu. <laughs> so oh, okay. so it, it gets different, but mm -hmm. rather than, you know, like people that's just cooking at home or what have you, like, there's nothing wrong with that. And there's great cooks that cook from just home, but you want to be able to walk into corporations and establishments where mm. people respect you for what you've put, you, you, you bought into yourself versus just saying, oh, I cook. You know what that's I mean? It's, huge, it's not a man. hobby. Yeah. You're right. So I was about to say that. There's a difference between. Cooking just being a hobby mm -hmm. and making money from cooking. Exactly. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So And the money comes different when mm -hmm. you can show the credential versus, oh, I'm just cooking from home. They're going to give you a small budget. But otherwise, they know they got to come correct. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's that's the big difference. 100%, man. So look, talk to the people. How can they book you, man? What's up? Listen, I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia. I travel. I take planes. I'm not afraid of flying anymore. I used to be. <laughs> but I got my passport, all of that, so I can go anywhere you want me to go. I do weddings, I do baby showers, birthday parties, private dinners. Book at chefduncan.com. Book at chefduncan.com. You follow me on Instagram, designerchef underscore Duncan. And let's just get it. Hey, man. Look, I'm a smash rest of this, man. Y'all know what to do, man. Visit this man. Book this man. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and as always, let a brother know. Where should I go next? Let a brother know. Y'all <laughs> uh, yeah, know me, man. Y'all know I don't even usually finish my stuff, man. But shoot. <laughs> 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 I had to slide on that one. <laughs>